Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about Acute Retropharyngeal Abscess. This is a concise presentation for medical students. The retropharyngeal space is a potential space of the head and neck. It is bounded by the buccopharyngeal fascia anteriorly and the alar fascia posteriorly. It extends from the base of skull to the bifurcation of trachea. Retropharyngeal abscess is collection of pus in the tissues in the back of the throat behind the posterior pharyngeal wall. That is, retropharyngeal abscess is collection of pus in the retropharyngeal space. This picture shows the retropharyngeal space. It is bounded anteriorly by the buccopharyngeal fascia and posteriorly by the alar fascia. This picture shows the x-ray of a person with retropharyngeal abscess. Now let us see about the etiology of retropharyngeal abscess. It is common in children below 3 years of age. It is a result of separation of retropharyngeal lymph nodes secondary to infection in the adenoids, nasopharynx, posterior nasal sinuses or nasal cavity. In adults, it can occur due to penetrating injury of posterior pharyngeal wall or cervical esophagus. Rarely, pus from acute mastoiditis tracks along the undersurface of petrous bone to present as retropharyngeal abscess. Now let us see about the clinical features of retropharyngeal abscess. There will be dysphagia or difficulty in swallowing and difficulty in breathing. This is due to the obstruction to the air flow and foot passage. There can be strider and croupy cough. Croupy cough is nothing but barking sound during coughing. Torticollis can be there, that is the neck becomes stiff and head is kept extended. A bulge in posterior pharyngeal wall can be seen. It is usually seen on one side of the midline. How do you diagnose a case of retropharyngeal abscess? CT scan can be done and X-ray can be done. X-ray of lateral view of neck should be taken. It shows swelling of the retropharyngeal space and widening of prevertebral shadow. How do you treat a case of retropharyngeal abscess? Incision and drainage of abscess should be done. Vertical incision is given in the most fluctuant area of the abscess. Suction is done to prevent aspiration of pus. No anesthesia should be given because there is a risk of rupture of abscess during intubation. Systemic antibiotics can be given. Tracheostomy can be done if there is obstruction to the airway. Thank you.